cameras. I have a fucking gun. No, but you sure got a temper. Um, just go. Let's go. Call the truck. I don't have a fucking gun. Okay, I I I no one said you had a gun. I will the next Somebody. Time. Blockchain.com's free Bitcoin web wallet. Chock full of privacy and security features. Two-factor authentication. A second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um. That camera out of my face, I'm gonna knock the teeth out. There's no camera in your in face. face. There's no camera in your face. face. Get away from me. Get Jesus the fuck away from me. Christ, dude. Well, you may have seen this February 2014 video of a keen resident being threatened for, well, basically just doing what I do running a video camera in public. I'm not a cop. I don't have to listen to your stuff. I didn't say anything to you. You wanna come over here and threaten me? Fucker. Get that fucking thing away from me, Ralph. Get the fuck away from me. This video has reminded me that I have a lot of things to talk about related to Free Keen and also to uh, the, I guess what you might call the Stop Free Keen movement. Now, Stop Free Keen is not responsible for this uh, threat, but they've definitely been getting a little angrier lately. And of course, it's, you know, it's possible to get angry at Free Keen because they can, you know, there's some, there's some annoying folks operating there. One of the videos I did that was uh, talking about uh, this uh, whole Shire Free Church business. So we're here at the City of Keene building, um, Daryl and myself, two of the Shire Free Church ministers. It's where, uh, you know, the Free Keeners, some of them are trying to claim that a house is a church and uh, refusing to pay part of the uh, property tax. Well, uh, I've referred to this as a, as a tax revolt. And uh, it, Ian Freeman from the Shire Free Church says that is a mischaracterization. Well, anyway, this debate between me and Ian uh, sparked an email that I got from one of the opponents of Free Keen, who, who I guess lives in Keene. Her name is Kimberly Demond, or Diamond. It's spelled D-I-E-M-O-N-D, -E so I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway... Uh, I wanted to read the note to you guys. It reads, quote, I recently came across a YouTube audio that you posted regarding the Shire Free Church, calling it a tax revolt, which I firmly believe is true. I have looked into this situation myself and have found several troubling facts. Again, remember, I'm quoting Kimberly Demon, uh, or Diamond. Uh, continuing, quote, of note is that the church that Mr. Freeman donated his home to is essentially owned by Ian himself. The Shire Free Church claims to hold ministry in whatever place it chooses to gather. So Ian, in my opinion, falsely claims to be a minister of the church so he can call his home a parsonage in order to evade property taxes, which he has clearly been trying to do for years. The Shire Free Church Holdings, LLC, was incorporated earlier this year by Ian, through a third-party representative hired to file incorporation documents in the state of New Mexico for the purpose of transferring the property from Ian himself to Ian's newly formed LLC holding company, a.k.a. the church, unquote. Now, I do want to point out that I have uh, deleted from her... E I am not quoting... She, me she mentions the exact address of the church or house or whatever you want to call it. And I have not mentioned that because I understand, well, last I checked anyway, there was supposedly some effort to keep that private. I'm going to go along with that and not mention the exact address of the place. So, uh, continuing Kimberly's quote here, sorry to be so familiar, Kimberly, since I don't know you, but I don't know how to say your last name. Anyway, again, uh, quote, other than shadowing his actions, there is no reason for him to file in New Mexico as the LLC's primary function was to transfer Ian's NH property from him to the church and could have easily been accomplished via the NH Secretary of State for a nominal fee. Although Ian did not file the paperwork himself, the LLC has a business address of blank in Keene, 
So you can do the math. At the time that Ian filed his notice to the city about becoming a church, he did not currently owe taxes, but the city of Keene does not recognize the property as a church, and Mr. Freeman will be sent future tax bills and be expected to pay them regardless of his claim to be a religious organization exempt from paying taxes. I have substantial issues with anyone who becomes a figurehead of any organization who relies on fraud and mistruths to further their personal or political endeavors. Mr. Freeman is as shady as they come. I hope this information assists you in your pursuit of this matter. Sincerely, Kimberly Diamond or Diamond. Unquote. Blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.